Welcome guys and gals, it is Andrew here from IDB with the nifty battery pack. And I have to say it really, really is quite nifty as far as battery packs are concerned. Inside the box, you're gonna find the actual nifty power bank itself, as well as two different cables, a micro USB cable, as well as a USB-C to USB-A. The back of the box touts some of their great features like power loop, which means never actually on or off. The tri-circuitry, all the different ways you can power things. The fact that you can get probably about four charges out of this for your mobile device and the fact that it is really, really quick. The first thing that I found really neat about it was that there was no power button on here that you needed to actually enable to get it going. You can simply double tap on it and it lights up ready to go telling you how much power is there. It also has this great feature. So when you have your phone plugged in and then it charges it all the way up, another battery pack would probably just shut off and then the phone would die a little bit the rest of the night. You'd wake up and you'd have you know 95% of your battery or 90%. Well, with this, it'll actually automatically charge it back up when it needs to, giving you up to four full charges depending on the size of your device. Really, really handy. I did mention that the Nifty comes with a few different cables as well, and it also has a little carrying case to make it even more handy. The two cables are USB-A to USB-C cable, as well as a USB-A to micro USB. They're also just not off the shelf cables. They're actually custom cables that have this really cool flat design to them. One is really small and easy. The other one's a little bit longer. I'm using to charge this actually out of uh, the wall, maybe using like a 15 watt power adapter. Because if you use a 15 watt USB-C power adapter, you can refill this entire battery in two hours, which is just insane on how fast this whole thing could recharge. It actually has a 6,800 milliamp hour battery, which is capable of quite a few things. Also an alternative thing that you can pick up is one of their flatline lightning cables. These are MFI certified, really nice and short, which is perfect for a battery because you don't need a really long cable. And they have a little Velcro strap keeping them all together so you're not gonna have it get tangled or anything like that. All of their cables come with a 24 month warranty, so they're not gonna, you know, die on you really early and they can last over 6,000 vents, which really is probably more likely that you're going to lose this cable than it's going to break on you. Moving back over to the battery, Overall, this is just a really, really smart battery with pretty much the latest tech built into it. It can charge and transfer power with up to 93% efficiency, which is pretty high for a, you know, a backup battery. It can also charge all of your devices really, really quickly. It has Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0 built in, so any of your Android devices that support that are gonna charge up super, super rapidly. It can also safely charge your iOS devices as fast as the devices allow you to, which again is gonna be quicker than most of the cheaper batteries that are running around out there. I also love that touch sense feature, the part that like lets you wake it up by tapping it and it keeps it awake when you plug stuff in uh, so it doesn't just go to sleep and then stop charging things after they die a little again. It has this really neat feature where it actually lights up the USB port so you can find it in your bag or in the dark to plug stuff in and as soon as you plug your cable in, it dims that back down again because it knows you already found the port. Plus, because it has USB-C built in, it's actually two way. So it can actually power the battery or it can power other devices. You can power a MacBook up to 30 some percent. So you're gonna get almost 10 hours of total battery life on your MacBook because of this battery. On a MacBook Pro, like a 15 inch, you're still gonna get 20 to 25% more battery with this little thing being able to be plugged in. So do I recommend this battery? Heck yes, I do. The only other battery that had anything that was different than this, that was maybe slightly better or different, was the Nomad had that built-in tile tracking. But if that doesn't matter to you, this is one that you should jump on. You can find the link for it below in the description. Otherwise, subscribe for more cool gadgets like this. Till next time, it's Andrew for IDB.